Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you are doing extremely well and your exchange preparation is also going well. Well, guys, first of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed this channel till now, then do consider subscribing this channel because this really motivates me to make more such content for you and for your placement preparation. On this channel, you will find 80 plus videos related to exchange preparation, right? So you can follow the channel if you are new to this channel. All right, so let's start with the video. In this particular video, we will be solving the questions from verbal ability as you guys were requesting me to make more videos on verbal ability. Right, choose the synonym of the following words. So always remember for any uh, for any placement exam, not only for exchange, but for any placement exam like cognizant, etc. Verbal ability and especially vocabulary is necessary, right? Already I have provided you a cheat sheet for vocabulary words uh, for most important vocabulary words. 300 words I have shared along with their meaning, along with the sentence use, right? So you can avail the cheat sheet. I will give the link in the description box or in the pinned comment. Okay, so let's start. Choose the synonym of the following word. Receptacle. Receptacle, what is the mean of receptacle? Receptacle means container that stores something, right? Or we can say a big house or a big storeroom or a go down, we can say. So I am writing here storeroom or go down. Basically, it is useful for storing something, right? So what will be the synonym related to storage only? So recredisc. Recredisc uh, re means a repetition of any disease or bound. So it doesn't make any sense irrespective of this. Now the next is decline. Decline means to deny something. Again, not making any sense. Definiteness. Definite means certainty. Again, not making any sense. Container. Container means a box that can contain something, that can store something. So container will be the correct answer for this particular question. I hope it is clear to you. Let's move on to the next question. Cupidity. Right. So cupidity means an urge to get something, craving to get something, or a greed to get something. Right. So these all are the synonym of this. Discount means concession. Doesn't make any sense. Oblivious. So oblivious means fluffy or forgetful. One who has the short term memory. Right. So oblivious. Greed. Yes. Greed is the synonym of this. So cupidity, greed are related to each other. And comment, you have to comment the answer of this. What is the mean of this comment, right? Because vocabulary is really necessary for you. So you have to find out more number of words and you have to practice more number of words. Okay, so palette. Palette means one who has yellow in color, right? One who has, oh, sorry, who is yellow in color, right? So yellow. Okay, so overpass means crossing of two highways. So it doesn't make any sense here. Disdain. Uh, what is the meaning of disdain? So disdain means feeling of hate, feeling of hate or envy, right? Revulsion. Revulsion means change or transformation. Change, transformation or transition. Pale means yellow. Pale means yellow, right? So pale will be the correct answer for this particular question. Let's move on to the next question. Just a minute. Uh -uh. Okay, so irrepressible. So meaning of irrepressible is quenchless. Quenchless. What it means? Quenchless means uh, one who cannot be modified, right? A thing that cannot be modified or we cannot make any changes in it. That is uh, irrepressible. We cannot make any changes. So, uh, so just a minute. Irresistible will be the answer because it is not resistant, irresistant will be the answer and the meaning of language, dictate and acclaim. You have to find out on your own. Let's move on to the next thing. Next is infringe. What is the meaning of infringe? So infringe means violation or attack, right? Infringe means violation or attack. Encroach. Encroach also has the same meaning. That is violation or attack. So it will be the answer. But what is the meaning of timid? Fearful person. That uh, one who is, uh, who has the fear, right? Who is not brave? I can say who is not brave or we can say coward. We can say coward. 
कंकर मीन्स अग्रीमेंट अग्रीमेंट राइट एंड एक्सपेल मीन्स ले ऑफ राइट सो एनक्रोच विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन so the next question this time we have to find out the antonym of these words insolent the first is insolent so what insolent means insolent means is rude or uncivilized right uncivilized so what will be the antonym of this that means one who is civilized or one who is humble so humble will be the correct answer for this question let's move on to the next question sapient sapient means clever clever who is intelligent who is br uh, brilliant right so who is intelligent here basically we are talking about wisdom not knowledge we are talking about wisdom okay say so the antonym of this will become a uh, kind of very simple person or an ordinary person right a basic iq who has is strong so is strong is kind of uh, uh, related to physical appearance but here we are talking about mental state right so it cannot be the answer simple yes simple can be the answer but again let's check further as well simian so simian is kind of a monkey right it is a species or uh, species of a monkey so i'm directly writing monkey only right hunched uh, what is the meaning of hunched so the meaning of hunched is quite different only uh, right it is bended shoulders right it is bended shoulders okay now the next is valor so what valor means is valor means brave one who is brave is called valor so cowardice will be the antonym of this because just now we have discussed here in this uh, question uh, where timid coward right so cowardice will be the correct answer for this question it will be the antonym of this okay let's move on to the next question the next question is conquer so we have previously discussed about it that means agreement right agreement or cooperability so the antonym of this will be disagree simple the next is protract 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 means one who uh, thing or a particular person we can say who is long right who is long who is extended right so curtail curtail means Uh, to de uh, decrease something or one who is short so curtail will be the correct answer for this question now before moving forward let me show you something that recently i have launched an exchanger cracker pack right so there are previous 5 years uh, papers and all the recent papers and time to time i used to update it right so the papers are from 2020 2021 2022 then 2023 2024 and 2025 there are some bonus pdfs as well there are some notes sheet sheets and all the material that i have used in my youtube videos it will be also there there are complete papers coding questions of each year pseudo codes questions we can say the uh, this material is complete material for your exchange preparation so let's have a look what we have in this material so 2021 to 2022 papers right so you can have a look that there are multiple screenshots of the paper right these are the multiple screenshots so if we come here in next folder 2021 paper so we have complete papers of 2021 along with their dates as well and if we come here 2023 right so these are the screenshots of 2023 exams now if we come on 2024 so these are the coding questions in this we have the coding questions of 2024 and in this folder you will get the uh, question right under this you will have the question date wise second may third may fourth may ninth may 9 july 12 july etc so you can see that 12 july so these are the question these are the screenshots and if you come here again if you see third may so these are the third may questions etc so similarly you have in others folder okay let's come here for 2025 batch so these are the papers of august right so these are the screenshots of august paper then again uh, the next slot papers right so these are the screenshot of next paper then coding 2025 so these are the some coding questions that i got recently and more coding questions i will share don't worry in this only so here are some bonus videos 
in each of the folder you will be getting some more questions of abstract reasoning critical uh, reasoning ms office and cloud availability etc and if we come here in updated content folder right there is an updated content folder time to time i used to update it with the new papers right so you can see that this is a paper of 12th july then february then i have added this exchange 2024 is of recent paper right this is the recent paper you can see and uh, this is the ms office questions from the recent exam right this is the ms office questions from the recent exam and if we come back here, so if you see verbal ability, we have lots of PDFs and lots of images there. And these are the all free resources in it. Okay. And if we see complete paper, so once you are done with the, your preparation, you can uh, practice on these complete papers together, right? In those PDFs, you will be having the complete paper. Okay. Now let me tell you the price of this. So the price is super affordable. Just 100 rupees you have to pay. And guys see make sure to avail this material if you want. Uh, that you are contacted to me only. Whether you can contact me on Instagram or on Telegram. Both the links are given in the description itself. Because there are some people who are making scams. So they are selling the content either on the higher price. Or if they are selling the content on low price. What they are doing they will get the payment they will block you so don't uh, go for those right so make sure that you are contacting to me and you are availing the material to me i'm not insisting you that you have to um, avail this material it's all your choice you can watch the videos you can uh, use any resources but i have this much of content i have shown you right so there are some cheat sheets as well for each section Antonym, synonym, cheat sheet. What are the mostly asked antonym, synonym? And common applications and MS Office. Network, security, cloud, right? Interview guide is there. One word uh, are there. Cheat sheet for coding questions as well. 60 questions are there. All the questions are of Accenture only, right? Okay, so the price is 100 rupees. I have told you. And one more thing I want to show you that we have the success stories of 2025 minutes. So these all are the success stories. So let me show you something. See, you can you can uh, clearly see that my, I have cleared my Accenture communication round. Communication round, that means he has already cleared the uh, technical assessment and cognitive ability part, right? So if we see in the next. So hi, sister. Thanks for uploading the content on this. He has cleared. So there are multiple testimonials I'm getting this time that yes, I have, I have clear, I have clear. And you can see on my Instagram highlight success 2025 or in the YouTube community section, right? So yes, if you want, you can contact me on Instagram or on the Telegram. Okay, so let's moving on to the next question. Okay, so find out the uh, errors. Okay, so identify the error in this sentence. So there are multiple sentences and they are just basically uh, forming a paragraph so here let's start the, the stars let me see what spring is like on jupiter and mars saying fly me to the moon let me play between so it is kind of uh, uh, these lines are brought up from a particular paragraph and uh, meanwhile from the paragraph right so if we see that the stars let me see what spring is uh, there is no any error it is all right like on jupiter and mars saying so just we are comparing that like jupiter and mars saying okay fly me to the moon let me play between so if we see that here we are talking about stars and stars are countless right how we can use between how we can use between because here stars are the subject and we are comparing so we are uh, saying that in reference to stars, we should use among, right? Because between is used for two people or two person. In the comparison of two person, we will use between. But here we are talking about stars and stars are plural and uncountable. So among will be, <coughs> sorry, among will be the best suitable answer here. So it will be the correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. Identify the error sentence. Probability oriented environment of role. The interaction with the game is still very tactile thanks to the board setup and the right. So it is again, uh, it is brought up from a particular paragraph, right? 
so the thing is here we are talking about every time we are talking about something specific we are specifying something right so here the uh, error is just that probability oriented environment of rule it should be it should be operable with the help of articles because we have to specify it as well because here the interaction the game every time we are specifying everything so here the correct of this will become the probability oriented environment of the rule right this will be the correct answer for this so option number a will be the correct answer so the error was just that here the article use was not there so we have to use articles as well let's move on to the next question identify the error sentences so once the tunnel for the metro is dug under the premises the magnetic circuits will be sorry the magnetic circuits will be a breach and the negative forces of physical spiritual pollution will attack so basically these are three continuous sentences and we are talking about like there uh, once the tunnel of the metro is dug under the premises so the magnetic circuits will be a breach and the negative forces of physical and spiritual pollutions will attack so here we are talking about a certain condition that once this will turn so this this thing will happen or this thing will take place so if we see in the second the magnetic circuits will be a breach so it is making a problem here that how a magnetic circuit can make a breach a breach in magnet, magnetic circuit is there it is correct but magnet, magnetic circuit will be a breach how this is not possible right a breach can occur in magnetic circuit but magnetic circuit will be a breach it's not correct so it should be like any breach will occur in the magnetic circuit or like that we can replace in so but this is not the correct way to represent it so the error will here let's move on to the next question so fill in the blanks find out one word that is to be fitted both the sentences for uh, first and uh, to make it meaningful all right so we have to fill up these sentences dina tried to her father into letting her drive the family car okay load some some casual first day so here casual will be the best suitable word why because casual means uh, uh let me give you an example in our family if we want good food right uh hostlers can relate so whenever we uh, go home so obviously our mother cook tasty tasty food for us but sometimes when uh, we used to buttering on my mother or uh, or your father right that uh, oh mama you, uh, home homemade food is just awesome like that so it is nothing but buttering right it is nothing but buttering to make them feel happy so that they can make you happy right <laughs> this is kind of uh, cheating <laughs> but to make them first you have to make them happy so that they can make you happy so this is nothing but casual the meaning of casual is this right so dina tried to casual her father so dina just convince her father so that uh, he can allow her to drive the family car let's move on to the next question so the next question is she was dash and reserved a nice modest girl whom any young man would be proud to take home to his mother okay so she was so here we are talking about a girl uh, who has the um, separate nature or we can say a reserved nature so we have to use any particular word that will be suitable here so demure means is kind of one who is not so open to everyone one who is not open to everyone or we can say introvert right we can say introvert or sometimes we can relate with hesitate right so demure will be the correct answer because she is a demure person she is not open to everyone so everyone every guy will want a woman to make his wife uh, that the woman is not open to everyone right you are guessing my point i know let's move on to the next question the critics fill up his pretentious dialogue and refuse to consider his play seriously crumbling moldy venipil or deride so the critics deride his pretentious dialogue and refuse to consider his play seriously now you have to tell the meaning of deride right deride is the answer but you have to find out the meaning of deride 
let's move on to the next thing so the next question so in these so this question uh, these questions are from different slot so again you have to choose the synonym right impartial so let's break it down in two parts impartial so m plus partial 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 means biasing right biasing we can say biasing or we can say disbalance judgment right one who is uh, suppose there is there are two people right uh, one who is uh, one who is criminal and one who is not a criminal and there is a judge so judge is biased to this criminal so who will get the punishment obviously this non criminal right so this is called biasing or this is called partiality right so uh, here we are talking about impartial that means there should not be any biasing there should be equality so equitable will be the correct answer for this question because there is no biasing the judgment is pure the judgment is uh, all okay balanced so it will be the correct answer for this biased will be the antonym of this right distance means at a distance of doesn't make any sense in this unjust doesn't make any sense in the context of this word okay let's move on to the next thing uh i'm i don't know why i'm talking again and again thing thing this is question okay food wing food wing is in hindi we say aankhon mein dhool jhokna that means to cheat someone or to do a fraud with someone right so deceive is also uh, the synonym of uh, this food wink right so deceive will be the answer means to cheat someone to cheat someone okay let's move on to the next question so conscript 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 means uh, recruitment right recruitment hiring especially this word used for uh, use uh, in the context of army but we can use it for the recruitment right recruitment of army especially this word is useful for recruitment of army but in general we can also use this word so draft is the synonym of this and here you can see that similar words are these call up enlist recruit mobilize raise muster draft so draft because it's kind of just different thing uh, by seeing so i just put this screenshot in front of you directly okay let's move on to the next question vulnerable right vulnerable uh, which is unsafe right so the synonym this will be endangered which is not safe which is unsafe let's move on to the next question you have to tell the answer in the comment section i know i'm giving you more and more homework but the thing is your vocabulary should be good right you have to find out the words let's move on to the next okay so until a few years ago the toss up for the city's commuters was between overcrowded city bus and uh, sorry this sometimes should come here and this fill up should go there right so this will be until a few years ago the toss up for the city's commuters was between overcrowded buses and sometimes greedy auto rickshaw driver so basically we are comparing two situations for the city commuters that uh, for a long time before like what happened is either commuters have to choose overcrowded buses which are not comfortable or else they have to choose the greedy auto rickshaw drivers right so there are two ways of transportation only so we have to fill this blank here this is a blank this sometimes should go here right so we have to fill this blank so eccentric will be the correct answer for this eccentric means uh, one like eccentric we are talking about greedy auto rickshaw right so they are just the hindi meaning of this is sunky right and we can say psycho because auto rickshaw walas are really psycho sometimes right so uh, it will be the correct answer here stunning doesn't make any sense usual usual greedy uh, e rickshaw uh, so auto rickshaw no horrible no any auto rickshaw can wala be horrible like we cannot define as horrible but centric will be the best suitable word here let's move on to the next question the bench also struck down the 1919 constitution amendment act which was passed unanimously by both houses of parliament unanimously again uh, uh, we can say unbiased in a unbiased way in a perfect judgment way 
right so unanimously by both house of parliament let's move on to the next question so this fill up strengthens the allegation that the influence of the executive in the appointment of judges cannot be ruled out unless a judicial commission is formed so this persuasion this persuasion is the allegation that the influence of the executive in the appointment of judges cannot be ruled out uh unless a judicial commission is persuasion will be the answer persuasion means uh, we can say anune right anune uh, let me give you a some example of it uh, the skills to convince someone right skills to convince someone okay let's move on to the next question even after 10 years of the rti i find widespread lack of so although rti is implemented from 10 years but still there is a lack of uh, consideration right people are not considering it it's the part of uh, our we can say constitution or something but still people are not people are not accepting it right widespread it is not there so power of consideration Uh, there is a lack of consideration of this rti yet all right let's move on to the next question a fight broke sorry choose the correct word which substitute the bolded part okay a fight broke out in the pub and it was hard to pull the people involved away so there is a pub uh, where a fight got happened and then uh, it was hard to pull the people so it is all okay pull the people that means we have to distend the people from the fight okay so pull uh, pull is all okay involved avoid we have to distend the people that means we have to apart the people from the fight so pull and apart will be the correct answer from this question let's move on to the next question she didn't get on till well after 12 o'clock because she had been out for a few drinks with her mates so actually this is a phrasal verb right and the correct word should be get in so what is the meaning of it uh, suppose she has to arrive on a particular place let's take uh, an example that she has to arrive at her home only but she couldn't because she was busy with her mates in drinking and partying right so she was enjoying that's why she couldn't reach at the time on by 12 o'clock like that so get in is the correct phrasal verb for reaching arriving right this means arrive arrive on a particular place so it is a phrasal verb so get in will be the correct answer for this question let's move on to the next question oh oh okay so the next question is the opposition parties are trying to clean off the voters they lost in the election so every time the opposition parties always try to get back their voters right who who they have lost so they always want to get their back that means they want to get their black get their back sorry uh, or i can say return right return uh, return so claw back is the best suitable word for this let's move on to the next question she wheeled around when he told her to stop so it should be replaced by wheel round wheel round that means instant stop so as he command to stop her she just stopped at that uh, at is instantly right so wheel round will be the correct phrasal verb for this let's move on to the next question okay so we have to compile these four sentences in a meaningful order so that they can make a meaningful paragraph okay celebrations are observed the world wide but particularly in india by throwing color at one another so we can see that here we are talking about celebrations but here we are uh, specifying our india that means india must be somewhere a subject so it cannot be the first statement right so always try to find out uh, the noun or the subject right so that you can start your sentence okay let's come here now Holi celebrates the arrival of spring and summer as the dull winter breaks into a glow of color under clear skies. Okay, so it is kind of initiation of a sentence, right? So it can be the first statement. 
let's move on to the next for indians the festival is a crucial part of the year so it cannot be the first because the thing is we are already talking about festivals so uh, we have to make a foundation of this so here directly we are addressing indians so before we have to address india then only we can address indians right and we are talking about festival so we have to address a festival as well so again it cannot be the answer so perhaps because so again perhaps cannot be the starting sentence of a meaningful paragraph right so holy uh, so two will come first now let's use the option elimination technique let's check how many options are there from two so b c and d so it cannot be the answer right okay let's try along with the options so two four so after this let's try for four so holy celebrates the arrival of spring and summer as the dull winter breaks into a glow of color under clear sky so as we can see here that this is the effect of holy right that uh, glow of colors under clear sky etc so why this effect happen there must be a reason right so the reason will be perhaps because here we are specifying the reason shy this the the crop sown in autumn ripen under the newly golden sun and so anticipation of glad times become only natural so holy has an effect and what was the cause of it we are specifying in the next line right so it will be the answer maybe let's try out or else if we uh, if we read this two then three so holy celebrates the arrival of spring and summer as a dull winter breaks into a glow of color under clear skies for indians the festival is a crucial part of the year in collecting flowers and making colors begin late in winter so all right we are talking about festivals but here we have specified holy so we have to talk about holy only right so it cannot be the uh, next if we take here 2 1 again it is uh, it is talking about celebrations and observe the world so the thing is the fourth sentence is directly specifying that what was the cause of holy sorry what was the effect of holy and what is the cause of it right so it will be the next now we have easily identified the 2 4 1 3 will be the answer now let's have a quick clue of this that holy celebrates the arrival of spring and summer as the dull winter breaks into a glow of color under clear skies perhaps because the crop sown in autumn ripen under the newly golden sun and so anticipation of glad times become only natural then celebrations were observed the world over but particularly in india here we have specified our india uh, by throwing a color uh, on another etc then we have specified india then we will specify indians right so at last we have to specify indians and it will be the right ordering of the sentence 2413 i hope it is clear to you let's move on to the next question so we have to replace this underline part so the constitution guarantees citizens that sorry the constitution guarantees citizens the right for freedom of expression subject to some conditions for national well being so always remember right for is not the correct right to is correct we get a right to do something right we get right to right to is the correct verb for this so right to will be the answer it will be the best replacement let's move on to the last question for today okay so choose the best replacement again so he varies me and insists that i should pay attention to him so whenever you see that there is a uh, sentence of anticipation or someone is uh, having some wish from you and they are insisting you right so he varies me and insists that i should pay attention so here we usually uh, ignore these type of uh, words should or say because directly we are insisting that you have to pay attention so it will be the correct answer that insists that i pay attention to him directly we will come in the present tense not in the uh, model um, uh, modular verb i think uh, it is called modular verb i'm not getting the exactly idea but the rule is in uh, in this type of situation whenever we get the anticipation or insisting of something so we usually avoid should and so so we will directly use the main verb and it is the rule. 